chance for them to get to answer or ask their five minutes worth of questions. Gentleman from Virginia, Mr. Griffith is recognized for five minutes. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Mr. Chu, you share legal counsel lawyers with ByteDance, yes or no? Yes, we do. And you testified that you prepared extensively with your legal team for this hearing, yes or no? Uh, with my team in D.C., including the Including some team. of your legal counsel? Yes. Yeah. Right. And did they tell you about the report uh, to the Australian Senate of March 14th that I referenced earlier? Did they tell you that that report was out there, yes or no? I cannot recall how I found out about the report. But you know about the report. I, I can check. Okay. And, yeah. and did they tell you to favorably cite the Citizens Lab in your written testimony today, yes or no? Congressman, I need to get back to you on specifics. They helped you with the preparation of your written statement, though, didn't they? A team prepares, yes. Yes. And did they tell you that the director of Citizen Lab says he has called out your company for misrepresenting their report repeatedly and, has, and did so as late as yesterday? Did they tell you about that, yes or no? C Congressman, the Citizen Lab is saying they cannot prove a negative, which is what I've been trying to do for the last four hours. All right. But you cited it favorably as saying that it did positive things for you. That being said, let me ask you this. You keep talking about transparency. But you haven't been transparent with us here today. You were asked earlier by Mr. Hudson if you own stock in ByteDance. You said you didn't want to reveal that. Well, we're trying to figure out what the ties are between ByteDance and TikTok. I'm not going to ask you how many shares you own, but do you own shares in ByteDance, sir? Yes, I do. All right, there you go. How about in TikTok? Right now, all employees own shares in one. Yeah, sure. Entity. I expected that. I just don't understand why you didn't tell Mr. Hudson that and we're transparent earlier. Instead, you made us drag it out of you. All right. Now, let's talk about the kids. You told uh, several of our folks that there was a 60-minute deadline. You also told us that if you were under the age of 18, you couldn't access the live section, uh, the live option. So I texted my 17-year-old and my 15-year-old, and I basically got scoffs back, scoffs, when I said, are you all limited to 60 minutes? My older son said, well, there is a notice I get from time to time that says I shouldn't be on more than 60 minutes, but it never has kicked me off. And my younger son said, oh, I'm on as long as I want to be. So I'm just informing you, whoever told you, particularly if it was your legal team, that that's not accurate that they're on for more than 60 minutes and they can access the live section. I believe it was Mr. Carter that you said they couldn't under 18 access the live, you know, being on live section. He's done it. So whatever it is you think you're doing, it ain't getting done. Now, let's talk about the law for a minute. You share legal team, but you keep talking about how you got a firewall between you and bike dance. You can't have an effective firewall under the United States interpretation of such if you're sharing legal counsel because anything that you say to your legal counsel, they can share internally. If you've got the same lawyers, now maybe you have two different teams of lawyers in the law firm, but that's not what you said to us today. You said you share lawyers. There is no firewall legally. I'm just telling you. So if you want to clean it up and be transparent, you need to do something about that. Wouldn't you agree, yes or no, that Congress you need to do something about that? Congressman, I, I respectfully, You'll look into it. I I, yeah. You'll look into it. You've been looking into it all the time. All right, you told Dr. Burgess when asked uh, if your employees, if, if, if your employees who were members of the Chinese Communist Party had access to TikTok data from the U.S., you said you didn't know who was a member of the Communist Party. But then, Congressman Wal to Congressman Wahlberg, you said that the CEO of TikTok was not a member of the, communist, of the Chinese Communist Party. And to Congressman Kelly, you said the founder of TikTok was not a member of the Ch Communist Chinese Party. Sir, either you know who is and isn't a member of the Chinese Communist Party or you don't. Which one is it? I submit that you know and you just aren't giving us the straight story. Clearly, you know, but you denied that to Congressman, Dr. Burgess. I, I can ask one or two people, but we have no policy to ask all the employees. I can ask one or two people, but I, you know, who are in... in but the, it's reasonable in, in to position. assume that with a significant number of members of the, of the country, of China, being members of the Chinese Communist Party, logic would tell us, you're a logical man, I assume, logic would tell us that there are a fair number of your employees who are members of the Chinese Communist Party, at least a dozen or so, 
who have access to this data. Isn't that so? Again, like I said, I can ask one or two people. I, right. We don't so have a policy to ask everybody. I said earlier, you're, you're living in some kind of a cloud world because either you know or you don't know. I yield back. Thank you, ma'am. Gentleman from South Carolina, chair recognizes for five minutes, Mr. Duncan. Thank you, Madam.